Virgin Besieged uh, Fascination Draft, a veritable some block draft, and we open a spell spell. And it timed out, and I got a Mortis Dog. Uh, that sucks. Um, well, the. Don't know how that happened because I still had 10 seconds to go. Uh, but I guess that it lied on me. Uh, this pack has got a Shrine of Loyal Legions, a Suture Priest, Flying Soul Leader Pit Girl as it's. Um, I think it's between the Pip Driller and maybe the Soul Leader, being the strongest two cards. Suture Priest is awesome, but if I got this card that I really didn't want, but still, if I got that, I think that Pip Drill is the safe stick to follow it up with. Not to say that this is a, a very, if not a unreasonably bad card, it's just that the others were a lot better. Uh, we do get a Volt Charge here, which is a gift. There must have been two really good cards to for someone to pass on a Volt Charge. Um, so yeah, the pack, in, in pack 1 we uh, shipped an Enslave as a, a black card, but if we can cut, then we, if we can cut black we should get it in second pack anyways. Uh, so this thing charges other things. Uh, the best card in this pack is the Legionnaire, I think, followed maybe by Racist Swine, but I don't think that I will be going in Red Black, in fact. Uh, Gremlin Mine is a safer pick. So it's between the Swine and the Gremlin Mine, and I think that I'd rather have the Gremlin Mine than take that. Uh, this pack has got. Oh, what does it have? What's this? Uh, you may return target creature. Okay. Uh, that's a fun card. Uh, not uh, way worse than some others, but still a fine card. Um, The cards that I'm looking at here are basically this Pestilent Soul Eater, which is a solid card, or this Toxic Nim, and I think that the Nim is the stronger pick here. And um, here for sure we take this Medicine Wellspring. I see no reason to take any other card. Toxic Nim is good even outside of Infect because it does have Regenerate, so you can. Uh, stop anything non infect with it. Um, nothing exciting on color here. So I'm just going to take this mere superior. <coughs> Don't care about the listener elf, uh, even though it's, uh, it's the best thing for infect decks. I, I have a I've got a feeling that in fact isn't as good anymore. Uh, the straight in fact decks. So I'm just going to take this new superior because it's the most the most funny card, the most fun card in the pack. Here there's the metagenic growth. Uh, there's one black card which is awful, and there's a racist swine. So I'm going to take the swine here, and we get 
both exclusion ritual and parasitic implant back to us. Um, I don't think I can take the exclusion ritual. It's I, I'd much rather have the parasitic implant. And we also got a Volt Scourge back to us, but there's also, apart from the Volt Scourge, there is an Artillerize. And Artillerize is really good. Um, I wouldn't say that it's the best, um, but it's certainly one of the best uh, finishing spells I know of. Um, might as well take this search node, I might find something to power up. Scrapyard Salvo. Number of artifacts in your graveyard, so I have to fill up my own graveyard for that to be anywhere near playable. So, with the cut, black quite well, uh, red to some extent, although we might have not have been alone on cutting those colors. And we open up a corrupted conscience. Um, it's a matter of whether or not we want to pick that up and maybe branch into blue instead of and uh, having a red as a splash in Vault Charge and Ocular Rise, but I think that spread the sickness is good enough for us to just pass the corrupted conscience and keep taking our on color spells. We are we only have six creatures so far, five creatures considering that we won't stay near superior unless we get a bunch of uh, mana mirrors. But I still think that we'll get enough creatures even without that. Um, and here even without the uh, Corrupted Conscience. And here we get the Strand Walker, which will be our pick. And as you can see, someone did a good job of cutting. Uh, we, we might see a, a lot of blue flowing in this direction. Still, I think that we should just stick to our guns, picking black and red cards where possible. Uh, Gross Ripper would have been a, an okay pick, but Strand Walker is better. And here we've got Ica um, Wellspring, Scorch Servant, Firelent Wound, Plague Mirror, Nested Ghoul. Um, I'm looking towards the Firelent Wound and the Plague Mirror. Maybe the Nested Ghoul, I'm not sure. And I think that I'm actually going to pick up on this violent wound. Because we can get mirrors in the last pack. Uh, and that's the goal. It's okay, but I think still think that I prefer violent wound. Uh, as is. And here we get another rusted, uh, nested, nested goal, or another. The choice of a. Nest of Ghoul or a Strand Walker, and having two Strand Walkers, though definitely not bad, I still think that I'd rather have this Nest of Ghoul this time. Uh, this might be wrong, but I do want to have some creatures of my own. Uh, Strand Walker does make uh, a creature, but Nest of Ghoul makes us two creatures. There's also a Blistic Shaman, um, but Mr. Ghoul is better. And now we get the choice of Ogre Resist, uh, Rex and Rager, maybe Spin Engine, but Rager should be the best card. Uh, Ireland Boom or Nested Ghoul again. And 
I've got one of each already. Uh, let's see here. And our five prop is quite full as it is. I think that Violent Wound is a little bit better. Uh, there's also a Dross Ripper, but if I can avoid playing artifact creatures, then I will. Uh, we already have two of them, but one of them is removal and the other one is uh, not necessary to play. So I'm just going to pick up on this uh, second Violent Wound. Here though, I don't have any choice but to pick up on the Dross Ripper. I could take Copper Carapage, but seeing as we are not going to play any kind of aggressive deck, uh, Dross Ripper will be a better pick. Um, not with, it's Crush or Contested War Zone, uh, just because I don't have this yet for my redem uh, to redeem the set, but Crush is the way to deal with um, what do you call them? Living weapons. And this pack, uh, I'm just going to catch the biggest, baddest creature. And here, it's not the sore. Oh, it takes big golem, and I think I'm just going to take the golem. Um, Care about the creatures, I'm just going to catch the random, uh, random in combat tricks. Search node most likely will not make the deck because we have nothing to charge as yet. I'm not going to play that though, I bet it was the best card in the pack. So we have some cards that are okay. Uh, I mean, the two best cards in our pack is in, in our pile is Volt Charge and Artillerize. Then and Spreading Sickness, is our uh, best are three good removal spells. Then we have some decent beaters. Um, the alternate infect win condition. Of our him and uh, pestilent soul eater, but we do need some help here. I mean, uh, a cough wouldn't be bad for us. So yeah, uh, opening money would be nice overall, but uh, I think that the deck needs help. Uh, Carnific demon, some some sort of bomb. Shape in you is not a bomb. Um, that leaves us with Wall of Tangle Cord or Tumble Magnet. Maybe Silwalk Life Staff, but I think I prefer taking one of these two. And out of the two, I think I'd rather have the Wall of Tangle Cord. I'm not going to be aggressive enough to make use of the to make use of that uh, card anyways. Necrotic ooze is a fine pick. Uh, so it could get regenerate and infect. Of the cards we have so far, and now that we are regenerating, <laughs> reach. Uh, yeah, I think it's it, it's a uh, four mana four three. It's decent. It's at, at worst it's uh, the same as an uh, over resistor, and at best it's ridiculous. So that's the pick, and we ship. We haven't seen too much infect either way. So most likely we'll have a couple of infects drafters on either side. Um, yeah, there's nothing really that we want out of this pack e anyways. Uh, Chrome Steed would be the best card, but I'm not sure that would even make our deck. This bar Barrage Ogre, however, will make our deck, and it will make our deck better. Uh, we don't have a whole lot of artifacts, but 
by himself. He's something that your opponent has to handle. And we get a Shatter as well. Uh, it's that or a more of Replica, but I think that Shatter is, is the pick for us. So we are picking up quite a few uh, good spells here in the last pack. I'm not sure that Rustle Slasher will make the deck because it's it's going to be a 4-1 without... It, it, it has the upside of sacrificing uh, Mithras and Wellspring, but uh, I have an Artillerite and a Barrage Ogre to do that as well. So Rustle Slash will most likely... Uh, or I, I, can, I can say it right away that it will not make the cut. Um, there's nothing here that I want to play. So I'm going to cut this new up replica because it's annoying. Uh, Genesis Wave is a nice card for the for the deck that can make it work. Uh, Leather Mirror, fine addition for us. Our our deck could not make Genesis Wave work. Um, I think I'm looking at my artifact destruction here, and one of them will get the cut. Yeah, we'll try to the rest one here. And I think that Gremlin Mine is, even though it's versatile, it's also the worst compared to uh, Crush and Shatter. And Hexplate Golem will most likely not see play. Uh, we have. We have our ways of dealing with artifacts, uh, with uh, with creatures and ways. So Mortis dog with the Strand Walker. That's kind of aggressive. Uh, six six, which if it were to die would deal six damage, or rather, your the opponent would target player would lose life equal to the power. Which would be this on a on a offense. So we've got uh, let's see here. Uh, I'm just going to pick this land up because it's on color for us. Um, that's the third contagious name. Don't care about it though. Uh, Spade of school. Yeah, I'll go with this. Um, here, I'm just going to pick up on another rare. Um, Carapesh Forge might be the best card here. I'm not going to play it. Um, What am I more most likely to play here? Nothing. I'll cut the carapace for you. Um, and then the annoying guy, Soliton, will not make the deck. Oh. Fourteenth pick, Stoic Rebuttal. I think it's a bit better than that, but seems like Blue wasn't played very much in our, our draft pick, at least. Um, so yeah, this is this our deck. Uh, we have to cut one thing, I think. And that was a solid time because that was still in the deck. So, Strandwalker, Elite, Crossripper, Replica, Tangleboard, Wildspring, and Leatherman. I'm leaving the mine in the sideboard for the time being, but Crush I will play. And Wounds. All our black cards were playable. Didn't pick up any unplayable black cards. The worst black card in our pack is the unwilling first pick of Mortis Dog. So yeah, um, I think we can be happy with that. 
we go to Colossal, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 black, 6 red, 10 black if you can't count the gorilla. Uh, so, the things that make poison. These are our, our poisonous card. That is pseudo poison, and these two proliferate. And I think that, yeah, these two go into that pile as well. So we have this mini infect sub theme, which is decent. We don't. We are not reliant on we are not relying on this to win games. Our most likely way of winning game is that we will we will be remo removing all of the opponent's guys and slowly grinding them down with some some random dork or another. We might get some barrage ogre shenanigans. I would love to kill something good on the, the opponent's side and just uh, go really naughty with the in the front of doors, but it's not very likely to happen. As I said it can gain it can gain the regenerate one that I forgot earlier was that I can it will be able to sacrifice artifacts, gain uh, infect, pump itself, I forgot that one as well. Uh, sacrifice itself, that was a new one add mana and here we've got game reach I think that I'm just because I can I'm going to add one forest um, just randomly if I face uh, a flying deck I can give my wall flying and also when my wall has finally died I can Reach. Uh, I can reach. I can give my uh, necrotic boost reach as well. So just it's not having having one isn't going to affect my deck all that much. I don't, uh, negatively, I don't think so at least. And being able to block flyers, we can't deal with all the flyers with this deck. Uh, some yes, but not all. So yeah. I'll try like this and see you in the first round. Alright, time for round one. Um, this day.